Hey, welcome everyone. I hope you all are doing well after the storm. I am Susan Delahousse. I'm the Senior Career and Professional Development Advisor here at Tulane, and I won't take up too much of your time today. We're going to run through um, some things that I think are great about Tulane and oftentimes are overlooked, and um, there might even be more fantastic things that you all know about that maybe you want to add in the chat um because I do feel like I find out things from students all the time um I will be following up with a copy of this recording and also um links to everything that I include so I will get started um we have I have a career services portal in Canvas. I'll send you all the link if you haven't enrolled. I put announcements on it um, about events that I'm hosting. And then there's just some basic um, tips in here for job searching, best job search web websites, conference information. Um, and then, you know, if a cover letter format, how to prepare for an interview, all things career services related. So if you are interested, you are definitely welcome to join the career services portal. There's not a class, you have no homework. Um, it's just a resource. And next up, one of my favorite things, and these are in no particular order, is Forage. And I don't know if you all have heard about Forage, um, but I'll send you the link. Forage is interesting. Um, it was founded in Australia. It's this platform that a lot of professors use it at other universities. One of our SOFA professors found out, it, out about it from an Ole Miss professor. And so there are these mini online internships. So there's, it's no cost to you. It's no cost for the university. It's these big companies that are offering internships online. And I, I completed one of them and I thought it was great. I did one on personal branding, but there's all these different um, types of internships. So whatever you're studying or maybe interested in. So of course I'm interested in interviewing and career skills. If maybe you're a pre-law major or whatever you are, um, you could search for different career interests on here, or you can search by company, or you can just scroll down and there's tons of companies that are hosting this. And it's something great. You can put it on your LinkedIn profile. You can put it on your, on your resume. And it's similar to taking like, I would say maybe like an asynchronous class where, you know, you have to like, you watch a video and you complete different um, worksheets and then at the end, they show you what, what a ideal answer would be to all the worksheets. Um, typically, the CEO of the company is, or like the director of HR is in the initial video, and there's videos along the way. So I think it's super cool. Um, if you're a student athlete, you don't have time to do an internship, this is a great way to do it or something extra to do during the holidays when you're off. And if you interview with one of these companies in the future, you could say, I completed your you know, forage online internship. Next, we have the Goldman Center for Student Accessibility and you all may or may not know about it. It is for anyone with disabilities. So, you know, reach out to them. They're always available to help anyone with questions about resources, housing accommodation, dining, testing center, all the, everything um, they're willing to assist with. And they are a great resource if you have any sort of disability and you have questions about how Tulane can accommodate you. Next, we have Handshake which of course is my, you know, I do, I love Handshake. <laughs> I've received 
different feedback from students about Handshake and my Handshake is going to look different from yours. I am a on here as staff. I can add events. I know that you all can add a profile and upload your resume and apply to jobs on Handshake. And as I handle employer relations for SOPA, there's someone at the business school who handles employer relations. There's someone at NTC who handles employer relations. And we all ask anyone who reaches out to us who wants to share a job with Tulane students, we ask them to post it on Handshake. So all Tulane students can see it. So we are doing that behind the scenes and we are, are all in agreement that we're not gonna you know, hoard these jobs just for SOPA or these jobs just for the business school. We're gonna have, all students will have access to all the jobs we're reached out to about via Handshake. Um, this is also where I find out about a lot of Events. So typically I'll look out, y'all may receive an email from me weekly about upcoming events. So I'll look at the upcoming week and see which ones are approved. I know it seems like there's so many events on here, which is why I like to look at it just by the week for next week. And I also like to look at if Tulane University is hosting it. Now, I'm not saying an event hosted by Ernst & Young is not going to be great, but I know that if, if someone at Tulane organized it, that's going to be in this column. Um, here's one that I organized. So that is something that I do look for when I am advertising events for our students. We have an upcoming Career Corner mini fair. So there's lots of things on here that you can find out about. And wow, next week's a big week. Um, and certainly we want you all to look for jobs on Handshake. I've had students tell me, I can't find anything. <laughs> I'll get on here and I'll search for graphic design or something that they're looking for and 30 jobs come up. So um, it's it definitely is a great place to, to look for full-time, part-time internships. Companies that post on Handshake are know that their audience is college students. So when students tell me, how am I going to get a job? I don't have any experience. Well, Handshake might be the best place for you to go because all of these employers know that you're all, you all are students. So highly recommend Handshake. Next, uh, ever, all students who have uh, who are enrolled at Tulane have access to LinkedIn Learning. I'll send you this link. If you haven't activated it yet on LinkedIn, go ahead and do that. It is great. Um, you can post about what you completed on LinkedIn Learning. And my biggest tip about LinkedIn Learning is if you are if you are going to an interview, and we all know our typical interview questions. One of them is, what are your strengths and weaknesses? And I um, participated, I interviewed people in mock interviews last semester. Everyone said time management is, the, is their weakness. So I came on here and I looked at time management and there's 174 course results. So you can always brush up on whatever you think your weakness is and then post this um, as a certificate that you received on LinkedIn. And it can be something that you can talk about in an interview saying, time management is my weakness. I know it. I'm working on it. I've actually taken some LinkedIn learning courses about it. And there'll be proof on your LinkedIn profile. Um, you do want to be mindful. Some of them are really long, hour and 47 minutes. Some of them are short. 11 minutes. 
up to you which ones you want to take. They'll ask you some questions at the end, and then you will pass the quiz. But I do like to look at the time. I listen to them while I work, and I'm usually able to pass the tests on that first try. So if you haven't already, it's LinkedIn Learning's great, and I'll send you all the link to activate that if you haven't already. On campus, I don't know if you all have been to the makerspace, but it is insane. It's so cool. Um, the makerspace, it's in the middle of campus. It's behind Richardson, across from Musifer. It's you, you, it's run by students, which is what I think is so cool. So they take shifts and there's 3D printing, there's laser cutting. So it's a space where you can go make stuff. Um, there was someone in there who was monogramming. They were like etching a glass champagne bottle to give as a gift while I was in there. I think it's it's really interesting. I forget how many there are in the city, maybe three. Maybe, maybe that's the only one. No, I don't know. But it's it's great. You do need to take a little um like hazards course when, when you go in there, but definitely check it out if you are around campus. It's a fun place to pop into. And if you are creative, all of the materials are free. Um, so they have stuff that's in there that's been donated by people, um, extra materials, and it's really interesting. Great way to meet other students as well. Tulane has an academic learning and tutoring center. So if you're struggling in a class, need any additional help, definitely reach out to them. I know a few people who work here and they are awesome. And I think that they are all, their doors always open. They're always looking for students to guide and tutor. And some people don't know that this is, exists. You know, so definitely reach out if you are, if there's anything that's going on throughout the semester that's gotten you back a little bit in your studies and you need someone to help you along the way, the, this is the group to reach out to and they will make a huge difference in your life. So I highly recommend them. Next up, we have, this is new. I don't know if y'all have seen this. Um, we have a Tulane University Career Engagement page and on here, what I like, I know we saw on Handshake up, the upcoming events. For some reason, I like the way this looks better. Um, also, it has featured internships, featured jobs. So you can click here, view more. It's pulling from Handshake, but you might like the way Handshake looks more. I like the way that this looks and, you know, it's constantly updating, adding, this will be taken off in a few minutes. And I think it's, it's great. And if you're looking for a career center, if you're in NTC business school, this is where you go to look for other people who are career advisors, there's a whole host of resources here. How to negotiate an offer, also prepare for an interview, search for a job and internship. So there's tons of career resources in here and exploring career paths. So play around with this. It is new and I think NTC worked on Creating this, it's a great resource for our students. Um, and I think it looks great. They might have a little bit more work to do on it, but um, if you have feedback, let me know. And 
I think this is definitely something that might not be on everyone's top of mind, but um, it has great resources on here. Next up, if you are in New Orleans, we have the Lavin Burnick Center, the LBC and the Commons. We often host events here. If you need a new splash card, you can follow them on Instagram. So it's easier to find out what's going on on campus. I do recommend that you follow a bunch of things on social media. That's the easiest way for you to get information. And if you need a new splash card, you can go there for your student card. Um, splash cards will also get you into Tulane sporting events, which is fun. So definitely, if you are a SOPA student, you haven't made your way there to get a splash card, but to go see a sporting event, I highly recommend you do. Of course, you can get a snack there. The bookstore is there. Um, sometimes I meet students there for meetings. And um, if you don't want to meet via Zoom, it's a good common ground place to meet. Next up is the library. The library is so good. And I feel like it's underutilized. Maybe you're using it more than I am, but they host great events. I attended one last week on how to create your own podcast. And then they told us during the, during the webinar about all these resources that the library has that you can utilize for free if you want to create your own podcast. So if you're looking for books, audiobooks, um, access to certain newspapers online, they have all that information, reach out to them, sign up for any of their events or workshops that they're hosting. Um, most of these are online. And I just find that everyone who I've met with at the library is really helpful. Um, numerous topics that they're hosting on. And then also tons of free resources for students that I feel like may be hidden on their website, but um, they are available. So this was audio editing. This was the platform Audacity that, that they were talking about that's offered um, for podcasting. So the list goes on and on and on and on, and you can always sign up for any of the workshops at the library or reach out to someone who works there to ask. Um, maybe they have a list of, oh, here they go, resources. And check that out because there's so many things. I mean, I get the New York Times on my phone, Wall Street Journal, um, great stuff. Then if you're anywhere close to graduating. I definitely want to highlight how great our alumni services are. We have um, a whole section of our website that's dedicated to this. I mean, this looks amazing. Travel with Tulane alumni. <laughs> if you live somewhere else, you can always go to, I see we have Tulane crawfish boils all over the country. I'm certain if you're not an alumni yet, you could reach out to them and see if you could attend one of those. Um, our alumni networking is very popular and I know someone told me they were in, um, Mexico city when Tulane was in the cotton bowl and they figured out where all the Tulane alumni were going to be for the game. And they went to that bar and watched it with all the Tulane alumni in Mexico city, which I was like, that is so cool. So wherever you are in the world, you want to stay connected. And if you are in another city, you can always figure out through here who's in charge of that alumni group and you could reach out to them and get into it. Um, our alumni group also offers 
career services, even after you have graduated, they do webinars, they have a job board. I usually sit on, on their webinars. Um, really interesting. They'll have Tulane alumni talk about um, where they are now and what they've done with their careers. They're usually really open and, um, you know, they'll offer to connect with people on LinkedIn or emails if you want to reach out to them. And if there are some um, upcoming events, um, these professional development series, I signed up for this one. They're not limited to just alumni. If it's a topic that you're interested in, you are welcome to join it. And so definitely keep that in mind. The closer you get to graduating, that we have really great resources for our alumni. And somehow we're back to handshake. Um, last but not least is WaveSync. And I'm not sure if you all attended the Fall Activities Expo. It was in the Riley Center the weekend of our um, Labor Day weekend. And so all the student organizations were there um, trying to drum up business for new members. They'll have they'll host it again in the spring. It's really fun. It's nice to meet people in person and ask about their organization. But if you didn't have a chance to do that and there's something that you want to join at Tulane, you can definitely go to WaveSync and try to see, I mean, you can look at all the organizations. Um, it's like over 500. Um, so you can look at a 591. Yeah, we're growing. <laughs> we're growing. Um, but also if you have something in mind, um, if you want to play pickleball, there's a pickleball club. And so you just go to the page, see who the president is and the advisor, and you can reach out via email. I saw them at the, at the fair. So there's all different types of things. Um, I recommend Tulane Toastmasters. That is a public speaking group. And I know they've been really active in the past. This is their email, so you can always reach out to them. I think they um, coordinate via GroupMe. And so all of these organizations are definitely like, are having hosting meetings and it's just a great way to meet other students. And if there's something that you're interested in, you could always search for it, or you could go through and look at the list of all the organizations, 591, or you can just see what's coming up and if you want to go to any of them. So WaveSync is a great resource. Um, all of our events are on here. It's just, there's so many multiple ways to find out about things that are coming up. And I know it's a lot. And if one of them catches your eye more than other, it might become the platform that you use the most. So I just wanted to share with you all the different ways that you can find out about things. And if, um, you know, there's Tulane, you know, just like I told you, within the library has so many resources, all of our different schools, NTC, Business School, SOPA, we have so many resources and I'm always here to help. And also our professors are here to help. So if you ever have any questions, reach out to your advisors and ask them if they can help you find what you're looking for, because I, I'm, been working at Tulane for two years and I'm beyond impressed with all the resources that they do have for students. So I hope that you all will utilize them and um, and I hope to see y'all on campus. If you live out of town, I hope to see y'all when you graduate, come in town for graduation. So I'm not sure if anyone has any questions. I knew this was gonna be short and sweet, but I wanted to share my favorite Tulane resources 
And I'll follow up with everyone with a copy of this recording. And also I'll share with you all links to all these pages. I hope you all have a great weekend and I hope this was helpful. Thank you.